Okay, so today we're gonna go ahead and be talking about the Frankie Rose Cosmetics Foundation. I have been using this foundation for over two years now. So I tried it when it first, first came out. Um, and they didn't really have a lot of colors to choose from so over the time I've been switching off colors I originally started using olive that was like their um, first foundation color um, I believe they only start off with like four or five um, so I start off with olive over time um, I just stopped using it because I stopped going out into the sun so I started to get more lighter so olive wasn't my color and then they made a new color which is called um, neutral and I switched to that color but it just ended up being too dark which is why I stepped away from the foundation originally about a month ago I just like to switch up my foundations because I just feel like uh, I get tired of using the same one over and over again so the newest color that they just launched is the color bear and I am super excited about this color because it is the color that matches me the best out of all of them um, and lots of you guys are always asking me to do a review or like swatches for you guys to see which foundation color um, suits you and the reason why I haven't really addressed it is because Frankie Rose actually um, has an option for you to order samples of the colors themselves I just realized right now that Frankie Rose just uploaded a chart that helps you figure out what foundation shade you are um, it's funny because I just pulled this up my sister told me to look at it and all of my all of the shades that I was gonna review today were the exact match to this chart so be sure to look at this um, I'll go ahead and leave it up a little bit so you guys can kind of get to see it screenshot this because I know you guys are watching from your phone and you'll be able to use this as reference when you're order, ordering your um, foundation just to go over um, a few of the shades that I have here. Um, so the color bear, which is the one that I am wearing, I am typically an NC20 in MAC, but this does oxidize a little bit. As you can see, I'm kind of a little bit darker. So if you're an NC20 to 25, bear is the color for you. Um, and again, I am wearing the color bear. If you are, um, if you are an NC25 and W25 and C3 in MAC, the color neutral is going to be the best fit for you. Yeah, so this color is going to be um, better for you because it does have a bit of a pink tone. And th like I said, that's one of the reasons why I stopped using this one in the first place. And Oatmeal Blend. This is a more warmer tone, so... Um, Keep that in mind, if you are not yellow toned, like I am a yellow toned, I'm very yellow, so yellow foundations match me. But if you're more on the pinker side and you're more guarita, um, this is gonna fit you better. So for oatmeal blend, if you're an NW to, oh wait, if you're an NW 40 to 42, this is gonna be your match. And last but not least, these are the only colors that I have currently um, I'm gonna go ahead and have them send me all of the colors including like the darker foundations because you can also use those as contour shades for your face I will go ahead and do another updated video but for now these are the only four that I have and if you are in the color olive you're an NC 30 to NC 35 this one is super dark because you guys know that Mac foundations oxidize and this is the way these work also so touching base on the actual formulation of the foundation, it is very blendable, super duper blendable. It's creamy, um, it's buildable, so you can use it as a natural foundation as well as a thicker coverage foundation. Um, so this foundation is a pleasant smell, at least for myself. My sister said it kind of smells like a wipey, but I don't even know, like nothing comes to mind when I smell this, but whenever I haven't used the foundation in a long time and then I put it on, I'm like, it smells so bomb. Like I can't believe I stopped using this foundation in the first place. Oh shit, I got on my nose. Fuck, <laughs> my highlight. <laughs> <You're dumb. laughs> um, what was I saying? And the actual product comes with one fluid ounce and that is the typical amount of foundation that comes in every foundation. This foundation is worth the money. Um, I started working with Frankie Rose as in they send me product for free and I use it. 
but my makeup always looks bomb as fuck. Like, you can't sit here and lie to me. Like, you really think I'm gonna wear a foundation that makes me look ugly? Like, you're gonna be able to see it on camera. Like, your foundation looks fucked up. You know what I mean? Okay, so these are the swatches of the foundation. After applying them, they do tend to oxidize. As you can see, um, I started off with this color, so it's pretty much really oxidized. Um, so let's start off. This color right here is oatmeal. Just kidding. This color right here is bare. Just kidding. <laughs> oh yeah, it is. <laughs> the, yeah, this color is. Okay, so this color right here is in the color bare, which is the one that I'm wearing. When I first squeezed it on there, it looks very light, but like I said, after a few seconds of putting it on, it does change color. So this one right here is called neutral, so that's the neutral one, and then this one right here is called oatmeal blend. So it's the darkest of all of them here, and this is a warm tone foundation. Um, and then this one that we have right here is in the color olive. I hope yeah it is this is the one that's in the color olive and those are the colors let me show you how this foundation blends out it's super creamy a little bit goes a long way okay my skin type is dry to normal um, this foundation is very hydrating for me so for people who have oily skin um, it probably will make you a little bit more oily because I would say it's a dewy matte I know that Frankie Rose claims for it to be matte but it's like a semi matte I guess you could say that because people who have dry skin can use it hence hello I have dry skin and then people who have oily skin can use it as well but even though I have dry skin, I still get oily throughout the day. So everybody is gonna get oily. And the only thing that you can do to control your oil is to carry around your translucent powder. I use the Chanel Translucent, um, and it's in the color 20 Claire, for those of you wondering. Um, yeah, so you're just gonna pretty much have to just walk around with this, have this in your bag, and just touch up, or the blotting sheets. There's really nothing that you can do to stop oil. Um, yeah, I don't know, because I, I always get questions like as to what I can do or what they can do to st completely stop the oil, and it's just a never-ending problem, but it's obviously fixable. You're just going to have to touch up throughout the day. This foundation, um, I feel wears for a long time. I mean, people like expect for foundation to last like... I don't even know like they always expect for foundations to last like 24 hours and realistically is that gonna happen no because your skin is eating up the makeup you have the Sun burning your makeup and then you have the wind you know hitting at your face and then I'm sure you're you're gonna have mocos throughout the day and you need to clean it up so your makeup starts to fall off and of course you're gonna eat and drink things throughout the day so this part of your makeup right here always comes off because when I'm eating this is the main part right here that comes off but it still wears for a long time I've tried foundations that just come off literally like after an hour and this one does not do that at all so it for sure wears flawlessly for at least four to six hours after that you're gonna have to do some type of touching up to make it look a little bit more flawless than you know when you first started doing your makeup so on the website when you are purchasing the foundation if you're too scared to figure out you know what foundation matches you and you're still kind of uneasy after I've already went over the foundations um, they actually ship out samples of the foundation I am not too sure whether they sell the samples or if they give them free and you have to pay shipping I am not aware about that so I can't fully say you know whether they charge or not um, I'm gonna go ahead and link their website down below in the description box as well as my coupon code I'm gonna input it here in this video as well so you guys can save your money right yeah Whoa. <laughs> I forgot that I had dude. this right here dude you look so scared dude because I was like <gasps> you were like like I didn't know what was going on okay so I currently have no foundation on my face whatsoever I'm gonna go ahead and demo the foundation for you guys um, the color that I'm currently using is the color bear which is 
like I said earlier in the video, the newest foundation color um, that they've developed. I know they also have a tan one, but I'm not quite sure um, which one that one is. I'm gonna see if I can get my hands on all of the foundations, like every single color, and compare them to something um, that, like a foundation that would fit you. I'm thinking maybe MAC, because I feel like everybody has owned a MAC foundation. I'm just going ahead and moisturizing my lips with this new lip balm that I got. I love to try out new stuff um, to see if like um, I can stop using something old and then move on to something new. But it's very, very hard. I'm very, very picky with the products that I like to use. Um, so I end up throwing out most of the stuff that I bought. Um, so this is the CoverGirl O Sugar um, Lip Balm and oh, it's called the Vitamin Infused Balm and it is in the color Cupcake. This is pretty good. Um, I feel like all lip balms are good. I still kind of have to try this a little bit longer to give my full thoughts on it. But for the most part, it's really good. So I'm going to be using this mirror right here. So if I'm looking down, um, you know why. I went ahead and applied my moisturizer prior to this video. As you guys all know, and if you don't know, I use the Pons moisturizer that comes in the white bottle. Well, it's not a bottle. I guess it's like, like, like a container. Here, let me show you. It's this one right here. So I'm going to go ahead and use two pumps. Um, usually I'm good with two, but when I want super full coverage um, for, for a very dramatic glam look, I use more than two pumps. I use three to four. But I do layer it because it isn't a super full coverage foundation, um, but it's buildable. Why are you laughing? <laughs> what? You are fucking ugly. So this foundation is a medium to full coverage. I personally only like to use foundations um, that have a heavy coverage because I just want the most flawless looking skin that there is possible. And to apply this, I am using the Morphe E50. And notice that I'm dragging the foundation downward because we want to make sure that we lay down the hair on the face flat. It's been a while since I've nared off my face. I do that occasionally once I feel like my hairs are really long and I need to get rid of them. And as you can see, this foundation matches me perfectly. <laughs> Did you hear how like when I dragged it on my throat? <laughs> It like Dude, you're doing that? Is that why your voice changed? Dude, I was like, why did she get so excited all of a sudden? No, it's because I'm stroking right here and it went like, Ugh. yeah. So yeah, I have never used a foundation that matches me as perfectly as this foundation does. Um, usually, I always, if you notice on my pictures on Instagram, I always look a little bit darker. Um, than normal because I really don't care if my foundation is darker. I'm obviously well aware that it doesn't match, but I'm just so lazy to try to mix things up because I, I realistically, I don't have time. Um, so yeah, that's why I always left it dark. So I already finished my foundation and that was two pumps of foundation. Many of you like a light coverage and this is what the coverage looks like with just the two pumps. You're ready to go. You can add some concealer, your highlight, whatever, but I like the full, I like the full on glam. So we're gonna go ahead and use one more pump and we're going to use that on the areas that you need the most coverage. I always like to cover my lips because it acts as a base for when I apply my lipstick. You have a blank canvas. So this is a close-up of what the foundation looks like. Very full coverage. It's not 100% matte, but when you use a foundation that's too, too matte, it looks nasty and powdery. 
I feel like when you use something that looks almost similar to your natural skin, obviously there's nothing natural about this, but you know, it gives you room to like move your face around. It's not too thick um, and it works for everybody because like I said, it's buildable. So if you want something natural every day, you can do that. Or if you want something that's very dramatic, it's also very dramatic. Okay, so I went ahead and applied my concealer, my highlight, my bronzer, um, pretty much my normal face routine on top of the foundation. So this is what it looks like. So that pretty much completes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you guys on my next one. Bye.